Hi, I'm Lucy O'Connell, Certified Nurse Midwife at County OBGYN. While I support women during childbirth and active labor at the hospital, most first-time mothers will be in early labor at home for 12 hours or more. I'm going to go over ways to help yourself at home before it's time to go to the hospital. Once contractions start, it can be very exciting, but the early parts of labor can last long, and in the beginning, I would go about your day until you need further coping me mechanisms. Keep yourself distracted. Rest if you're tired. You will likely miss at least one night of sleep. Childbirth takes a lot of energy, and you need to continue to eat and drink light meals throughout the day. You may not be able to eat once you get to the hospital. Movement often helps with pain as well. Go walking, use a rocking chair, sway with your partner. There are many positions that encourage better, better fetal positions. For example, hands and knees, kneeling, lunging, child's pose. Even sitting on the toilet may help your labor go quicker. Massage can also be helpful. But when you're in labor, you may decide that you don't want anyone to touch you, and that's okay too. Taking a warm shower or bath may also ease the pain, as well as using a heating pad. Back labor can be very difficult. Having someone put pressure on your lower back or squeezing your hips may cause relief. For first time moms, it is time to give us a call when your contractions are three to five minutes apart for at least one to two, two hours and all contractions feel strong, usually it's difficult to talk at this point. Call if your water breaks. It may be normal to have some vaginal bleeding as labor progresses, but call immediately if you have heavy bleeding like a period. Your baby should continue to move throughout labor. If you're not feeling movement, you should also call us. Based on what you tell us, we will decide when it's time to head to the hospital and for our job to start.